goes to Kevin Herter. Herter, by the way, had a career high six steals in Sunday's loss to Miami. It's Tony Snell burying a corner three. Uh, you know, defensively doing a, a pretty solid job. I, I think the shots will eventually start falling. They, they had some very good looks that they just missed. Four on the shot clock for Kevin Herter, and he buries it. They're in their 2 3 zone. John Collins is back in for Atlanta. Here's Rondo from downtown. That's good. Rajon Rondo. Uh, away from being able to isolate and go one on one, they've clogged the seams and they've been able to stay out on him where he can't get easy shots and they're not fouling. That was a good job by Kevin Herter. And John Collins defied gravity with that rebound. Seven rebound advantage for Atlanta. Herter for three. So Kevin Herter with all seven of his points here in the second quarter. I mean, trails by six, so for all their struggles, they're just six points down. Trey Young, yikes. That was from way outside by the closeness and tightness of the Eastern Conference playoff chase. Well, you go on a run here, and Miami's won six straight. All of a sudden, they're, they were out of the mix. He's third in the league in blocks behind Miles Turner and Rudy Gobert. Herter ran into a roadblock, got the score, and it counts. A little bit of the reach in action and, and finish the shot attempt old-fashioned three-point play there for him could not even get a look at the basket young collins that's good john collins with a dozen points eric spolster seen enough pressuring ball handlers uh, enforcing turnover trey young is back in the game for atlanta capella rolled it in clint capella 10 points 12 rebounds trey young there it's man back into a man-to-man -man. they've come out of that two three zone Herter for three. Capella with the offensive rebound. And Hero fouls Herter from behind. Always seems to be, you know, ready, has his hands ready. Eye contact with the shooter or the passer. All his work within three feet of the basket from an offensive perspective. Makes you wonder why Houston did not want to keep him. Yeah. It uh, was, and a good move by Atlanta to bring him in to help Lloyd Pierce. Difficult for him. That's a tough situation to be in. You're, you're working and, and helping a, a young head coach.